What is going on, y'all? Electro King member for three months. Let's go. Back from vacation soon. Back to the real world, huh, King? You like my uh, pathetic attempt at a thumbnail there? <laughs> It ain't half bad. It ain't half bad. So I figured this is a uh, five versus three KVK. Uh, now a three versus three KVK. King's Land opened earlier. Um, Shocky had sent this to me earlier. I don't have a map for it other than what he sent me. But when I open the map, it looks like this on the screen. So it's very hard to display anything. It's basically... Um, top right, bottom right, bottom left against the other five kingdoms. Right now in King's Land, he is telling me that it is uh, uh, 2359 versus 2172. And that's kind of what we're seeing right here. Um, the 2159 is over here, 72 is over here. And uh, they got some fights going on. So we're here. We're here. Noob, exactly. Noob. 100% thumbnail noob. What am I going to do? My guy's on vacation, you know. Got to patch things together and hold it together while my graphics dude is on vacation. So I'm just going to send him this link quick so he knows that, yes, I hear you. I could not stream earlier. I was working. We are streaming now. Back to reality in five days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was like a month-long vacation, though. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You're not allowed to take vacation anymore, especially when they're popping out new commanders this quickly. So I reset. We're spinning the wheel until then. We're just gonna just gonna watch whatever comes up. Do a little chit chatting. God, that'd be nice to have 30 days off of work. I'll take two days off of work and I have enough work to keep me busy for two weeks when I come back. What's up, Shaki? I told you I'd get to it. I told you I'd get to it, my friend. It just, uh, right when King's Land opened was uh, not a good time. So, but we're here. We're watching now. At least till reset when I spin the wheel. We're watching now. Like 2359 is pushing uh, 72 fairly hard, huh? I told you I'd get to it. I told you I'd get to it. I'm 
It's like y'all been having some fun. It's hard for, really hard for me to tell whose territory is what. But I didn't see any fighting here. Um, I didn't see any fighting, well, free burning. The bulk of the fighting I saw was over in this area here. Seven days of past fighting? Yeah, past. We watched. We popped in a few times. But every time I every time I was streaming and uh, I checked in, there was not a lot going on. But we, we checked in periodically. I mean I do have you I do have y'all bookmarked here. Right? Five versus three KVK, see? And we would uh, we would pop in and we would watch the two thousand KVK with Dan and Chisgill and Jake. Uh, we would look at Beast KVK, Plato's KVK, your KVK. We'd kind of rotate between the four, but every time we were doing that over the weekend, I uh, didn't see much action in yours. Okay, so it's the left side versus the right side in Kingsland. That's good to know. That makes it easy. That makes it easy for me, so thank you. And the left side is on fire. Every time we were doing that over the weekend, I uh, didn't see much action in there. That makes it easy. That makes it easy. Okay, 2200. Hey, Robert, it's good to see you. Clap, what's going on? This is where the biggest fighting is taking place. So we'll just keep it focused here. You have Echo. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm watching the stream and forgot to mute the stream. So thank you for letting me know. It should correct itself here in a few seconds. Appreciate you letting me know. Blue Panther, what's good? No, no, I'm, I'm, I always have my stream on, too, so I can read the chat. <coughs> it's just a lot easier to read the actual live chat than it is to, to look in the corner of OBS and read the small print there. So every now and then, you know, I forget to mute it. And because I'm using Epidemic Sound, which is a through the browser, right, if I don't mute the stream in the browser... It's going to ha have that echo. So, my apologies, gentlemen. The hell are they hitting that flag with? Is that really? That's not a fucking Charles hitting that flag, is it? Are they just trying to swarm it down? All right, thank you, sir. Holy crap. Good stuff. Tariq and Lubu. That's a new one.
Never seen that before. I was invited today from Yoda808 that I come with the Blue Panther account to him. Hmm. So are you moving to 2605 then? Twenty-minute flag swarm. Nice. Those are the fun ones, right? Where you're so heavily invested, you just gotta keep going. Because of you, I've been farming gems. So you're the one in my gem nodes. Stay the fuck out of my gem nodes, Roberts. Is QB worth it? QB who? In HQ. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you there, Panther. One Imperium is plenty. Especially when you're in 1960, right? Yeah, I mean, I felt really bad in our last KVK. There was one... There was one flag that Peppa Pig was, I mean, he's got a freaking crazy ass garrison. And I, I called for the swarm, right? And we started swarming it and all my seven marches died. They went home. I sent seven more mat marches back and I just kept yelling at people on Discord. Keep swarming, keep swarming, keep swarming. I'm coming back, keep swarming, keep swarming. It was like a 15, I mean, I lost probably a million million troops just in that swarm alone but i think that's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back in our kvk they, they decided after that okay these guys are fucking crazy they're gonna do anything and uh we need to we need to call it because after that we didn't have trouble taking down any flags so sometimes you got to do what you got to do it's more psychological than it is uh about getting good trades hey what's up fub in a simple way Mad Mania, hope your mama's doing well. No pull today, jeez. Yeah, see what happens. I take a day off from streaming and... in three days 45 billion kill points nice nice chip says now i'm in love <laughs> um i don't know what you're in love with but uh you know i guess we'll take it we'll take it just hit that like button right just hit that like button that's all you gotta do show the love hit that like button Yeah, I did a bit of training today. I think, uh, what, what am I again? Um, I'm getting fifth place in this NGE. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, check that out. This is in a sea kingdom. I don't, I don't fear losing troops. <laughs> Not one bit. <laughs> Not one damn bit. Hey, only farmer. If you guys don't know who only farmer is, she is a content creator as well. We're going to drop a link to her channel in the chat here also. 
one of the few female content creators out there for Rise of Kingdoms. So be sure and head on over there and subscribe to her channel. Join her every now and again when she goes live. Nope, we do not fear losing troops one bit. I feel this troops pro given to me. <laughs> so yeah, what we started KVK at 194 million power and dropped down to 130 million power and then trained back up 20 million power to get a Xena skin and now we're down at 105 million power. Now you know, our kingdom had a meeting yesterday with the leadership and we decided that uh, you know, fight, fighting in a sea kingdom ain't all that bad. We had a hell of a lot of fun this KVK, so we're probably going to stay in a sea seed, but um, there are a few people who did not contribute as much as we wanted that are going to be asked to delete some troops so that we can bring in some recruits and stay in that C division and not, not go up to the B division. What, 200 million power and he only had 700,000 deads? Shit. Shit, that, that's one good Alliance Fort Swarm. Well, hopefully they can figure it out, man. Thoughts and prayers, my friend, thoughts and prayers. Hey, Draco, good to see ya. <clears throat> so right now we are watching a KVK with um, 2359 and what was it, 2172. And now I see why you're looking to leave. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, if, if if you're interested in coming to 1029, just get a hold of TSN Cat right here. Uh, best way is on Discord. You can find her on my Discord. Um, you know, application and the voice interview is required. Uh, we're not bringing in all that many players, probably between five to seven players. <clears throat> so we're, we're going to. And I would say a good 20 to 30 people have already contacted her. So, you know, it's not, not all about stats. We want people with the right attitude. Hey, Logan, I'm doing well. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, if it's something you're interested in, we are out of KBK here in about uh, three days. And then there's another three days before we can actually bring in migrants. I did. I did, Fabio. Right there, right there. So we'll do some transmutation here in a bit as well. Then spin the wheel. I did not for once buy out the VIP shop last night. I got the gold heads and all the materials, but I did not buy speed ups. I am hoping there is more than gems this weekend. <clears throat> you know, some people were saying it was supposed to be last weekend, but that didn't make a lot of sense to me because, you know, Lilith wants everybody to spend their gems on the wheel for this new commander. And then they'll drop more than gems, right? That's just... How they do things you know they get people to spend all their shit and then they then they drop them more than gems or uh recharge recharge event so if i had to guess i would say more than gems will probably come after the wheel is done I think that flag's probably going to go down. I don't see anything in there. So let's, uh, we got 30 people watching. Let's, let's do some, uh, let's do some transmutation, right? 
We've got one on Nevsky. Well, I don't want to blow my entire wad on Nevsky. But this one on Guan, Patronage is a really nice inscription, right? Especially when I run Scipio behind Guan. Uh, whenever the wielder's troops receive a healing or shield, deals 2% extra damage for the next three seconds. Well, you can see we've only got one infantry stat on that. So this one, we want to do. This one, not so much. We're good on this one. This one, we want to do. So, uh, 1.6% health, that's not all that good, but let's, let's get these other two. Let's get those to infantry first, right? Infantry attack, okay, 1.5. We're getting better. We're getting better. We'll, we'll lock that down just because it is infantry. Five more stones. What? Many fucking stones today. I thought that I had like 17 of those things. Four. So we did better, right? We got a little bit better on that. Uh, nothing crazy. I mean, yeah, those 1.5, 1.6 stats are nothing to write home about, but at least it's two infantry stats now and not uh, a cavalry and whatever else it was. Check coordinates, city getting wrecked, okie dokie. Seventy one million. <clears throat> Let's see, is four stones enough to do a do a transmutation on Nevsky? Nope, I need five there. Well, that was anticlimactic. You can see on the top right when you are rolling the status. Oh, okay, okay. Too close for them gem nodes. <laughs> Let's pop all seven of these two while we're here. Honestly, I don't even keep these purple ones anymore. Sounds like a plan, Blue Panther. Lock only one and it will spin for three stones. Yeah, but if I need two, right? I mean, if you spin for two and you get only one, and uh, you've got to replace both of them, don't you? So Shaq, what are they doing here? He's only at 71 million. You can swarm that shit. Just a, yeah, well, I mean, that's 
That's armaments in a nutshell, right? The the our, the slot machine. the rally I see it in the background there ZL Henry or ZL Boudica take your guess all right appreciate it the bubble there's the bubble <laughs> Don't follow my suggestions when betting in, in Osiris League. My luck has not been good, and I told you guys that from the start. Right? I mean, I won a few on 93P, but, uh, yeah, my luck has not been good from the start, so, yeah. I hear uh, some people had a very good... Very good return on investment when they looked at, uh, or when they followed what 12 inch was telling them to bet. So, hey, you know, I'm, I may have won an Osiris League with OV, but that does not mean I am the authority on on half of these teams out there. I would say 90% of them, I don't even know one from Tom, Tom Dick, or Harry. And we'll, we'll probably look at bets later in this week, but. Uh, for now, honestly, it's really too soon to bet because a lot of people wait to bet until close to the end and you really want to bet when the odds, when you see the odds on like a Friday or Saturday. Because you know, those, can, those can swing one way or another. Really? Oh, the flag's repairing. One big with Sin 7, nice. I, uh, I never really bet a whole lot in Osiris League. Um, for the simple fact that, you know, like I said, my luck is garbage. <clears throat> I think I told the story once about me and a buddy. Um, we used to live together, and there were two separate times where we would, you know, we're in Wisconsin, so they have gambling here, but it's on Indian land, right? They're Indian casinos. Two separate times we would drive to the Indian casino, you know, just nothing to do, middle of the night, drive to the Indian casino and uh, each each go in with $20. Within five minutes, my $20 would be gone. 
same 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 five minute time frame you know i'd go and i'd find him and i'd be like bro you ready to, I'm, I'm out of money oh yeah i'm up 100 bucks or i'm up 150 bucks we're like all right done deal we're leaving no no i want to stay i want to stay i'm like i'm out of money I'm out of money. You're up 150 bucks. We're leaving now while we're while we're ahead. And uh, by the way, you're buying me breakfast on the way home. <clears throat> you know, I at least two separate times that happened. Now, there, there, there was another occasion that uh, be like, uh, buddy, hey, the rent's due tomorrow. Okay, give me a minute. And he'd leave. He'd come back with two scratch off or three scratch off lottery tickets. He'd scratch them off. Here you go. Here, this one's fifty dollars. This one's a hundred dollars. There's my portion of the rent. Luckiest guy I know. I swear. Luckiest guy I know. Now we're not getting a we're we're not getting a third sanctuary for that uh, chapter deal, Robert. Sorry. When, uh, hey prospect, when we were going through the rewards, that was not one of the rewards that was captured in the um, agreement with with Water Camp. So we looked at really we, we looked at the end rewards. We didn't look much at those chapter rewards. <clears throat> um, otherwise, we would have let Water get that third sanctuary for the chapter rewards, just because. We're getting the zig at the end. You know, so any other rewards that are out there, we would have definitely given to them. But I think I missed it in my review of the, the final rewards distribution, and I think they missed it too. I mean, if we took the sanctuary from them, it would just be kind of a, uh, kind of a dick move on our part right now. Is we did flip a coin after all for the final zig occupation. Yeah, slots, twenty dollars slots. I mean, this was back in the late eighties, early nineties, so twenty dollars went a hell of a lot further than it does now. I remember being, you know, my tank would be on, be on fumes, and I'd re I remember you know, digging through the fucking couch cushions for coins to go put a couple gallons of gas in my car. Back when gas was like, you know, 90, 90, 98 cents a gallon or some shit like that. We'll do Panther. Thanks for dropping by. And yes, uh, for the for the big coins, yes, everything's on 60 GT. Yes, sir. So, I mean, smart. They got TCG, TCG9 doing the rally. So that means that only TCG9 that's around the flag is going to get hit by AOE. So if there are other alliances that are around the flag, you know, they can stack all their troops on top. Oh, there's no AOE. Or there wasn't. You know, any other alliance that's in the same coalition can just stack all their troops right on top of the flag and not get hit by the AOE. Which is helpful then, because it helps 
Um, the enemy trying to reinforce the flag then, if they can't click on the flag, they got to go, you know, it takes them longer. They got to go into the other screens and they got to reinforce it from there. But, uh, plug your ears, here it comes. So that's the last time that flag will be burned, that will go down. flag here has got five minutes on it and then they can start burning some of these other flags here not that one it's not touching I am here to give my installment payment to Nello Lambo <laughs> thanks Panther appreciate you <laughs> that coalition tag seems a bit short don't you think <laughs> When I go gambling, I play with $200. If I double my winnings, I set aside my starting roll and just pay with casino. I mean, that's that's a smart thing to do. But the problem is I never, I have never been a lucky person when it comes to gambling. Hell, I'll go to the gas station. I'll buy $5 in scratch off lottery tickets. I'm happy to win a dollar, right? Here's that last rally. Only one, one troop reinforced it. Nice. Yep, no AOE there. What's up, Merc? Yeah, I think the luckiest I ever got was um, a way back when, 80, 89, 89, 90. Uh, my name got drawn out of a hat to win a CD player um, at, a, at a management function for the, the restaurants I worked, at, worked for. I was all excited that I won the CD player, and then I realized... Well, shit, I've already got a five-disc CD player at home. What the hell am I going to do with this one? So, I mean, I still took it home. I think I traded it for a quarter ounce of marijuana. Went gambling once in Vegas on the slot machine. Put in $10, $100. Called it quits, and that ended your gambling career. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. in a casino Oof. I just never been lucky like that you know, I guess I, I, I got a good job I got a great wife I got three great kids who are off to very good starts as young adults so you know, I guess I'm lucky with the things that are most important. And I'm lucky to have you all here in chat with me today, smashing that like button, right? So I'll take what I can get. We're just straight swarming this flag that was already burning. I love it. I love it. The only lottery I ever won was getting two eight spins in the Wheel of Fortune. Well, hey, give me some of that luck. I want some of that luck today. 
You know, if, if we could go back in time to four years ago when I was spinning the YSG wheel and got three eights in a single five spin, I, I, you, you would, you would probably hear a grown man scream and somebody would have to call 911 and send them to my house because I'd be having a heart attack. On your third week with no, hey, the first, the first week is the hardest, right? I don't smoke anymore, but back when I was uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, my two roommates and I, we'd probably burn through an ounce a week. I, I don't know. I don't know in Canyon. I guess we'll see if uh, HQ has an impact there. He's definitely squishier than uh, Nevsky Jones. So anywhere you put him in, it, you know, Nevsky HQ, HQ Nevsky, I mean, we'll see. There's Roberts popping off some of the member emojis there. If you are not a member, consider joining the Touchdown Club. $5 a month or $50 a month for the top level tier. That said, if you don't want to, no problem. Make sure you have gifting enabled, though. So that uh, anyone dropping in here, donating, donating gifts, you might get one. I had two, two roommates when I was uh, 18 roommates I mean there are people in and out of our house all the time though but. and and okay this was 1988 1989 right so the quality of cannabis back in 88 89 is not nearly what it what it is these days Once you have kids, your perspective and things change and it's not something that's legal here in Wisconsin at the present time, nor was it back in the eighties either. But uh, once you have kids, there's more of a, okay, this, this is illegal. I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, if, uh, if I get caught doing this, it's, it's possible that uh, they take the kids and the kids are gone. So, you know, it's one of those things where you kind of kid, kids change your life, right? I mean, it, it's it's legal in Michigan, so a lot of people just drive up to Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. It's legal in Illinois, so people who live down near the Illinois border just drive down to Illinois. I think every single state surrounding Wisconsin, it's legal in, in some form or another. Um, so, I mean, I think our, our state legislature is seriously considering just making it legal here, too. And if that's the case, you know, then we might uh, partake in the in the wacky weed once again. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I did I did try and play an Osiris match at one time when I was stoned, and that did not go well. That did not go well at all. Check City Corns. Okay, yes, sir. This one? Nope. This one. 69 million. Forty nine er girl. Well, as a Packers fan, zero her. Zero her. 49er girl. 
I guess these people would not be zeroing her if it was 69er girl, but 49er girl deserves to be zeroed. What up, Stitch? I guess I suck smoked right now. If it's legal where you're at, not a problem. Not a problem. It's just, you know, too much to lose when it's illegal in the state that I'm in and you have kids. Yeah, yeah, precisely, Stitch. 69 million. I, why are we waiting for the rally? All right, sorry to do this, y'all. Give me just a second. Uh, reading a message I got. No, I mean swarm her because she's 49 a girl. No rally, wait for flag. Oh, okay. Yep, okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. You're right, you're right. Stitch is a Raiders fan, so definitely, definitely, definitely. There we go with the swarm. Oh shit, that was my old jumper kingdom. Which one, Stitch? Too bad, Alliance. We're getting wrecked at the moment. I just, is that seriously what? YSG and Sun Tzu on the wall? Are you kidding me? KBK is over. Oh, there's the bubble. There's the bubble. She just wanted the free resources, that's all. She practiced safe KVK and threw on the condom. <laughs> your highest armament stats on a march well let's take a look um is this it 
So 8.7 archer attack, 9 defense, 9.9 .9 health, 2.5 march speed, 2% all damage. We got the hunter inscription, which is 5% extra skill damage. We got galloping, okay, that's only march speed. Uh, we've got another 3.5% health with vitality. And this is not the V formation, but when not using the V formation, the 1% normal attack damage. Um, cavalry March. Uh, not so good here. We are looking at 4.7% uh, attack, 5.2 defense, 8% health, 3% march speed, 1.9 all damage. Then we've got another 1.5, we're taking 1.5% less attack damage. Another three and a half defense here. A um, little bit of rage. Another three and a half defense. And another three and a half defense. So defense is way up there. But And infantry, infantry is not as, not as good. 4.6, 4.1, 6.9. 3% all damage 1.2 but uh, we've got uh, extra 10% chance to do 5% bonus to all damage there's another two and a half skill damage uh, this is extra damage when shielded attack 3.5 and health 2.5 so those are what I would call the best the best three element sets I have I mean, nothing crazy. I've seen better. Hell, I've seen free to play with better. That's the whole thing with armaments, right? And this is my second cavalry here. A lot of purple. So I'm stacked on defense and health on XY because he's squishy. And we've got some counterattack damage and some more health here. my second archer one 6.5 5.2 4.7 2.1 0.5 we got extra skill damage extra attack health and uh, more attack nice Line shot is a good one. I don't know what, with a coin though, I don't know what to get this KVK, right? Do I get another hunter? I mean, I, I don't use arch formation at all. V formation, yeah, screw that. Line formation, why? Um, <clears throat> gold gathering speed. Or I'm sorry, this is echelon formation. This is line formation. Defense, you know, maybe. Skill damage resistance. I mean, that might be good for garrison, but... I was seriously considering getting getting this one. This is an echelon formation, right? Wielder's troops gain rage 5% faster. Okay, for for Trajan Ethelfled, no big deal there. But a 10% chance to increase the attack of three nearby friendly targets by 15% for three seconds. So I was thinking possibly getting that one. It's just so hard to pass up that additional skill damage um, with the Hunter inscription, so I don't know. Don't think about anything else until you have five or six Hunters. Yeah, it's kind of like the ring, right?
I mean, how does one get, where are we here? This shit right here, Intrepid. 10% extra skill damage. That's the one I want right there. That's not a that's not a ten percent chance to deal ten percent extra skill damage. That's fucking ten percent extra skill damage all day, every day, every time you fire off a skill. Contra is better than Intrepid. I'm not a math guy, so I'm going to take your word for it. Let's take a look at some other parts of the map here. I think there was fighting up here too. A bit. Mainly a staring contest right now. Fighting here. Not really, no. I think these are all allies over here. My guess is fighting here, yep. Triple line seems great. <laughs> it troll. <laughs> Yeah, the first couple transmutes I did, I got super, I got super lucky, but uh, past couple weeks had uh, not been so good. But hey, I mean, the, the this is better than it was, right? At least we have the ability to cross our fingers and hope for something better than we have. What's up, Sora? You know, I really wish, though, if you got, I mean, if you get to a point where you transmutate one armament ten times, they should really let you pick the attribute, right? I mean, if, I'm, if I've invested stones to transmute something ten times, let me pick the attribute I want at least. At least, at least make it worth my while to do it ten times. Correct, wheels comes at reset. You know, yeah, I'm. I, if I get a, if I got a coin, if I had a coin on my for one of my farms, we might do the triple line. But uh, crit the gathering gear too.
Yeah, hey, we're we're working on that uh, leadership gear. Slowly but surely. We got two more to make. The gloves I crit first try. So we, this, this leadership gear is next. It's hard to play catch up my account first kvk and i gotta face people who already got all meta marches yeah so my advice here is <clears throat> save save your gold universals right don't try and play catch up you know if you're still in your first kvk you want to make sure you get ysg um i would get ysg and and possibly alex get richard to 5511 for chaining and just play a support role. Fill flags, fill rallies with epic commanders, and save your gold universals. Once you get to a point where you have, you know, 690 gold universals saved up and a really good open field commander comes out, then get them. You know, but if you're if you're trying to constantly work on old commanders. And when I say old commanders, last generation commanders, commanders that uh, uh, other people already have expertise that have been in MGE three times already, um, you're always going to be playing catch up. And sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and understand that, hey, I might not be very effective for the next one or two KVKs, but I'm going to save all these gold heads so that when... New commanders are released. I can get those new commanders right away. And if, if you're playing the long game, I'm pulling Dito out of that flag, is it not touching anything anywhere? Nope. If you're playing the long game and you're here for, you know, not just one or two KVKs, um, that would be the best advice I could give you. Navsky Mina is a super solid cavalry march, absolutely. Nine hundred. Okay, so you're doing good. Yeah, any anything you know, anything before Nevsky, I would not even worry about. Do not even get X Y. Do not go for William Nevsky Mina is a super solid open field march. It does decent in rallies as well. <clears throat> you know, and then maybe you consider going for HQ once once HQ is available in your kingdom. Hey, what's up, Happy? So, I mean, there there are always going to be events with the older commanders in them if you're still looking to max them. There. You know, there's a ton of commanders that you can get from the daily chests. Right? So, you know, when people tell me, oh, I'm in KV, I'm in Season of Conquest and I'm, I'm working on Attila, you know, that just makes me facepalm. Have I maxed the new commander yet, Pete? <laughs> you joker. No. No. And I'm not going to expertise him until I, I spin the wheel as many times as I possibly can. <clears throat> 5511 or 5551 Nevsky? It's hard for me to say because I don't run, uh, run non-expertise commanders. But let's take a look here. Uh, skill damage bonus 25% that's huge defense 20% I mean I don't know what do you guys in chat think I would say 5515 because I want this skill damage that's just me 
I want this skill damage. I would say expertising is definitely better. Did I notice the new? Oh yeah, we can we can look at those too, right? Uh, Constantine and Alex. So Constantine infantry attack twenty percent, normal da normal attack damage five percent. Nothing crazy. I got it because I use them in Canyon. Alexander, Infantry Defense, 10%. Normal Attack Damage Reduction, 3%. So again, nothing crazy. I got it because he's, he's my third Infantry March. I would, I want, I still want Tommy. Put Tommy in the, put Tommy in the museum already. Twenty-three fifty-nine has won seven KVK in a row. Nice. Don't get much better than that, does it? Still got to grab Boudicca and Scipio. I mean, it's it's uh, it's tough. It's definitely tough. They're throwing commanders at the game so quickly now, it's hard. It makes it very, very hard. I mean, even these cavalry commanders in MGE now and in the wheel tonight are probably two MGEs early. looking at our, our MGE records for 1029 earlier it seemed like these these two cavalry commanders came out at least two MGEs earlier than than the uh, archer archers came out Sean says that's why I'm buying an account when I get into season of conquest there you go I do not condone breaking terms of service but that sounds like a smart option There are some uh, super solid accounts out there for not a lot of money. I mean, it, it's going to be cheaper to drop two or three grand on an account than it is to um, you know, constantly buy bundles. And, and I mean, at the end of the day, time is money, right? I feel like Justin will be better than HQ. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, so our people who are getting high spots for Justin, uh, Resurgence, MF, Stitch, who was in chat earlier, Mavic, um, they have got the cavalry gear to go with it. You know, uh, uh, crit Pride of Cons, crit uh, Sacred Dominions, you know, and entire cavalry sets that are crit. You know, yeah, my cavalry set is, is top tier, but it's not tippy top tier, <laughs> right? I do not have Pride of the Con. I do not have uh, Sacred Dominion. Um, come on, Nevsky, where are you? Right, I do not have my crit ring um, for cavalry. I have that for archers, you know, so... Uh, you know, Kat does a fantastic job organizing our MGs and and knowing who has what and who who needs what and who to give priorities to. <laughs> cough, cough. 100K for MF maxed everything. <laughs> nope, he does not have Margaret or Babur maxed. I think he's got like 3,000 gold heads that he could if he wanted to, but. But I, he still had fun last KVK. You know, granted he wasn't online as much as a lot of people were, but 
he got what 2.2.27 billion kills something like that 17 million deads he still had fun last kvk fighting with us so hey felipe um this is a kvk with uh who is it 20 2359 and 2172 Um, one that Shockey was sending us. So he did send me a map. The map just doesn't fit on the screen. But it initially started out as a five versus three. You got the bottom left corner, the bottom right corner, and the top right corner versus the other five kingdoms. Um, but he had informed me today when Kingsland opened that it's now a three versus three in Kingsland. Um, so we're really watching, I think, uh, 2172, who is up here in red, versus the, the Greenwood corner, the 23, what did I say? 2359. I have a con helmet, one blueprint for crit and KVK weapon crit. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, those, it, it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard, right? A lot of people are telling me, oh, you know, now that they've got leadership gear, you really want to crit the uh, the KVK helmet and the KVK weapon for archers and then put two leadership pieces on and just go with the two-piece set for, for archers. But that's a huge investment. Just to crit the weapon alone, because you guys know I'm not lucky, right? You're going to see it tonight when I spin the wheel. I'm not lucky. So to try and craft four weapons, you know, I'm no refine line here. I'm no red line refining this stuff. You know, so to, to <laughs> I just got to keep it real. You know, I think that the sets I have are quite good. And I'm okay with it. You know, I want to get me a few more accessories, get that leadership set done, you know, and then and then maybe we'll go for that helmet and that weapon. KVK weapon, cab, first craft crit. Very nice. Yeah, I wish I was that lucky. I mean, the first accessory I ever made was the dagger and it crit first try. But after that, it's been all downhill from there. You know, I think uh, most recently, right, I got the leadership gloves, gloves that crit first try. I got a Navarre's Control that I, I really didn't even care if it crit. I was putting it on uh, putting it on my third cavalry march. Thank you. you know, and it crit first try. It's, it's always the ones that you don't care if they crit or not that crit. You know, the ones that you really, really want to crit first time? Yeah, it never does. It never does. I have the worst luck on gear. Cav, KVK gear, three blueprints, 150 seconds, 75. Yeah, I don't I mean, I don't know how Redline does it. Maybe it's the helmet. I don't know. Maybe I got to get me one of those helmets. something to crit. I'm not trying to have 12 inch. Yeah, that, that, that dude, that, every time he crafts, nothing. And the ring only crit because, yeah, my fifth ring, my fifth ring crit.
I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to change that and say, "Oh no, sorry." Fifth time, it's not a guarantee anymore. You got to refine this shit. Just a friendly reminder, y'all. Much like, uh, much like Shocky did, right? Um, if if you're in a KVK, there's fighting going on. Just send me a message, preferably on Discord. If you got a map, hey, great, send me a map. Let me know who's involved, who the allies are. Um, I have a KVK streaming request channel on my Discord, so sign up for my Discord. Post requests in there if I have the time. And I'm not working. I will definitely try and stream the KVK for you. This has been a this has been a fairly good one. We were we were watching them pass fight a little bit uh, the previous several days, but once Kingsland opened, I mean it's been nonstop action ever since I started streaming today. I mean, I've, I've got a ton of blueprints that I issue as materials. Right? I mean, we've got two prides of the con. Um, heck, I've got seven of these pendants. Right? So the issue is not... Uh, issue is not blueprints, it is materials. 830 heads, 70k gems. My marches are Scipio, Julius Caesar, Juan, Alex, Nevsky, Mehmed, and Boudica, YSG. What commander or commander should I do? I would get Julius Caesar out of there. same respect you might think about putting uh maybe Scipio Mehmed and Nevsky Joan or just save up for the next infantry commander to come out I would wait on HQ and see see how testing goes before um, dropping any heads into him to put him behind Nevsky. I mean, we know Nevsky Joan is a super solid march and works quite well. So if, if you're itching to expertise commander right now today, that's what I would probably do is Joan. How many farms should I have to play with four field marches being a F2P? I would say you need at least five, especially since you're in our kingdom. You know, the, the key with the, no skill resets on that account. Um, the, the thing with farms happy is you, you just really, you need to just log into them three times a day, get on them right away in the morning. Make sure you're, you've got at least one March in the Alliance pit, um, and send out your other four marches, you know, maybe in the middle of the afternoon, log on, make sure you're in the Alliance pit, send out your four marches before you go to bed. Make sure you're in the Alliance pit, send out your four marches. You know, you really want to ideally get your collectors, your, um, what are they called? Your, you know, if you get these here, the farm, the lumber mill, the quarry, and the gold mine, if you get these to level 25, they put out a hell of a lot of, uh, hell of a lot of, uh, production. 
right? I mean, production production almost doubles when you hit 25. Where is it? I miss it somewhere. There you go. So yeah, 24, you're producing 5,200 per hour. So, I mean, up until then, the production is yeah, minimal, right? 24, you're producing 5,200 gold per hour. But as soon as you upgrade that to 25, it's it doubles. So that's the biggest jump in here as far as production per hour. And if you're logging on three times a day and you're collecting this passive income, and you're sending out those gatherers and making sure you're in, in the alliance pits three times a day, you should be fine with five farms. Gaines Gaming had, I think it was Gaines. Double check. Yeah, I'll put a link to Gaines in here. So Gaines Gaming put out a video earlier today having to do with farms how to run meta farms something to do something like that so i uh, you know i don't i haven't seen the video myself to officially endorse what he's telling you in the video but you know maybe maybe check maybe check that video out he's usually got pretty good information and uh, i've got I've got four farms, four farms on this email address, right? And I run through these every two to three hours during, during the day. Um, and then I've got six farms on two other email addresses that, like I said, I go through two to two times a day at the very least. I try and get through them three to four times a day. And that's usually enough for me. I mean, this KVK, I went through 10 billion of each resource. But, uh, I mean, that's that's 2.3 billion kill points and 11 million deads. So it was a more active KVK for me than normal. Normally, I get about 5 billion of each resource and probably about half of that. So that says something about our opponents, this KVK. They were some fighters. Cheeseburger time now. Please pass the pickles. Instead of just fighting with T4s, you have a combination. You know, some T4s, some T5s. You're going to get slightly better trades that way. And, you know, granted, it's not about trades, you know, especially in our kingdom, right? It's more about objectives. As a free to play, you want to maximize your impact on the field when you can.
these new commanders as badly as I want to expertise them when they come out, I'm going to wait. I don't need to expertise them right away. We're still in KVK for three more days. We're going to skip at least one KVK, so I've got plenty of time. I run a 60-40 T5 to T4 if I start running low on resources. Oh, there you go. There's, there's, a, there's a very good ratio right there. My issue is I don't have any T4s. All the T4s I had, I think I upgraded upgraded during Zenith. Um, I am trying to do things more efficiently now. Like today, when I did my training, I got a 15% rune. I got Duke. Normally, I don't do that because I have the general title. I hate bothering Cat when she's at work to get Duke. But today, I got that 15% rune, got the general or got the Duke title. I changed to my training skin. So that's what? Uh, 10, 25, 28%. Um, that I saved right there. So my plan is to spin to 100 only. Now that said, if I'm hitting 8 spot after 8 spot after 8 spot, we might go more. <laughs> but I don't anticipate that happening. I mean, we'll, uh, we'll unlock him and we'll level him up to 60 today for sure. Just because it would drive me absolutely fucking crazy. If I had one commander at level 10 and the rest of these were at 60. So we'll take him up to level 60 today for sure. See how far we get on skills from the wheel and uh, go from there. Normally, it's just the archer commanders that I spend past 104. Whale problems. <laughs> yeah, whale problems. I love the swarms. This is what you got to do in Kingsland, right? It's it's not about trades. It's not about uh, deads. It's not about resources. It's about burning the enemy and getting them out of Kingsland as quickly as possible. And when you're not afraid to swarm like this, it's, it's it plays it it fucks with their head too. Take him to the ruins. You, yeah, you could, right? But the Cavs have an AOE commander. Uh, Jones AOE, right? They don't have many. At least not legendary. William does AOE, but it's that little, little thin rectangle. XY does AOE a little bit. Hey, Vigette. I thought Joan did. 
Yeah, three targets. Circle AOE, no. Guys, don't know uh, Legette already, and, and I probably am butchering your name, my friend. Another content creator out, out there, if you're not uh, subscribed to his channel, head on over there. Give him a subscription. He is in KVK3. Cyrus has AoE. Yes, circle AoE. But it's only like a 10% chance to fire off, if I remember correctly. Well, and then, I mean, if you think about it, that kind of makes sense, right? Archers are shooting arrows. Cavalry are attacking what's in front of them. And, you know, what, uh, do the horses shoot projectiles out of their asses? You know, to get that circle AOE? That's why I love archers, because you've got a ton of AOE damage that those archers do. And if you've seen me fight, you see me running, running head first into the enemy murder ball with all of my marches. I'll sad face all my marches, but I'll do a shit ton of damage before I get sent home with sad faces. So the more damage I can do with my initial attack, the easier time my allies have coming in and cleaning up. You know, and we got several players like that, you know, Mavic and Cat and Stitch and MF, um, Resurgence, you know, Shadow and, and um, Winnie, you know, none of them are afraid to just charge right into the mix and sacrifice their troops to, to tank for the rest of the game. Yeah, he's on, he's on early in the morning for me too, but generally, um, generally he's streaming when I'm working in the morning. So it's nice to have someone streaming. Uh, Rise of Kingdoms or that early in the morning for me, so I have some background noise and it's, it's Rise of Kingdoms. Otherwise, I'm watching random Call of Duty streamers um, rage when they die. It just, I don't know, something about when I'm working, I have to have background noise. When I go to sleep at night, too, I have to have background noise. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes and it's wheel time. I hope you hit your KVK requirements. Funny man, funny man. Would you take your Gothian's account in the 1029? I, it's not my choice. It's not my call. Anyone coming to this kingdom has to pass the cat test. You know, it's not all about stats. It's it's about uh, uh, it's about attitude. It's about respecting the rules. It's about you know doing, understanding how we play the game and mindset, right? Um, I don't know as Drago would ever come to a C or a D seed kingdom. I think he very much enjoys fighting in those big A seed KVKs, and, and which makes sense. You know, a larger content creator um, wants to be able to hop on at any given time and be able to fight and give his give his viewers content to watch. And you don't necessarily have that in a C or a D seed KVK. Right, you've, you've got 24, 36, 48 hours of fighting every time a pass opens, once King's Land opens, and that's pretty much it. You know, whereas those big Imperium Kingdoms like 365, 1960, 2049, 1093, you know, those big kingdoms, when, when, they're in a, when they're in a big KVK, you could pretty much jump on any time of the day, seven days a week, and there's a fight somewhere.
Okay, what's the cat test? Cat is our R5. Okay, cat is our R5. So anyone wanting to come to this kingdom has to pass the cat test. You would contact her. She would send you an application to fill out. Um, if she likes what she reads in the application, you know, and it's, it's not just an application to, okay, how many troops do you have? You know, how many helps do you have this, that, or the other thing? It's an application that has some serious questions on it. You know, what are you expecting out of our kingdom when you come to 1029? Um, why are you leaving your existing kingdom? Tell us your experiences in all the kingdoms you've been in and why you left those kingdoms. You know, it's, it's. It's a, it, it's more of an essay than it is a very short questionnaire, right? Um, people who don't want to fill that out, they don't, they don't get in. People who will not do a voice interview with her, they don't get in. And you know, we have the ability to be very selective in the people that we bring here because we want to make sure that first and foremost, anyone coming to our kingdom fits in with the players that are already here. You know, we don't want drama. We want people who buy into our mindset of, you know, and, and kingdom and alliance first, um, individuals are last. That's, that's all there is to it. Hey, what's up, Ghost? BB, good to see you. Well, Drago's in 1365 now, happy, so I'm sure we'll see some content come from him soon. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, like, like I said, I think this, you know, we're looking to stay a C seed, but we're not looking to get to a B seed. You know, we have a couple players that in order to stay in the kingdom, we're going to ask them to delete some troops. Because um, for their for their power level, they really didn't perform in KVK. Um, if they don't want to delete troops, then we're going to ask them to leave. And those are conversations that our leadership team will have one-on-one -on -one with those individuals. But then we're really only looking to bring in five, five or seven highly active players. You know, we don't care if they're 30, 000, 30 million power or you know, 70, 80, 90, 100 million power. As long as they're going to be super active and they have the right mindset. Well, that's, that's what's most important to us. Because we, first and foremost, you know, we're, we're a group of friends playing this game. And uh, win or lose... We have fun playing the game together. Sure, it's more fun when you win, granted. But we don't want to bring anyone into this kingdom that's going to disrupt that friendship, that camaraderie. Because I think most of us now play this game more so for the friendships we developed and those personal relationships that we have with each other than we do for the game itself. I still enjoy the game, don't get me wrong. Um, I started casting because I wanted to meet new people like you all. I mean, I, I love streaming to you guys, interacting with chat. That's that's very, very fun as well. But if, if it wasn't for the uh, chat here, if it wasn't for the people that I play with in this kingdom, I don't really don't know that I'd be playing this game anymore. And so that's, really that's what it's about in 1029 is mindset. We didn't get to shift KVK, so we missed them. Yay. <laughs> you missed uh, 1365? <laughs> yeah, they got no match found, didn't they? So uh, who are you potentially facing in KVK then, DB? Any clue? I had to kill all my sieges on my archer. Yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to talk the talk and not back it up. I went through and I deleted um, I deleted all my sieges on every single, well, not all, right? But I went down, I have 100,000 T5 sieges on this account. Uh, these are for gathering, but I have 100,000 T5. So I think I had like four or 500,000. So I dropped to 100,000 just so I can keep that 100,000 in the gold pit. And I did that on every single one of my 11 accounts. You know, any any T4 sieges I had on my other 10 accounts, I've only got 100,000 of them. 
So, uh, you know, I'm going to set the example for the rest of the kingdom. We want to stay C. We don't want to go B. And I will, I will do what it takes to, to, to stay there. 1484, uh, Solid Kingdom. 2010, know nothing about them. 1188, know nothing about them. 2133, nothing about them. 1525. Hmm. 484 where do i know that from is that so uh, it's not song but that's um that's uh, i don't know where do i know 1484 from i forget i'm an old man Whom? Weren't these the guys that uh, sent a lot of people to 1034? They lose a lot to 1034. C kingdom now, not a D kingdom. We had a leadership meeting yesterday and we all kind of decided that we really enjoyed these fights. And that uh, in D kingdoms, we didn't get good fights. We got good fights, right? Don't don't get me wrong, but we had better fights in a C kingdom than we did in a D kingdom. So. Two minutes, yes sir, two minutes. Jump over to a farm account for now. Just so you guys can see, right? A hundred, hundred thousand T fours, hundred thousand T four siege. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna, as a, as a leadership team, I don't think we should be asking anyone to do anything that we ourselves are not willing to do. And while we didn't ask everybody in the kingdom to delete delete sieges or anything. And there are a few players that are going to need to delete some troops to stay here. So I will set the example and say, hey, I deleted some troops and, and I was the highest performer in KVK. Kills. MF had more deads. They still suck. You damn right they do, Pete. Damn right they do. Right, let me just. And it is reset. It sounds like the renewals are going off. So you're gonna see some. Notifications come across the top of the screen. Thank you to all the renewing members. Get back on the main account here and spin, spin, spin.
Thursday? Really? Fuck, did I miss Packers family night? When is Packers family night? Saturday, August 5th. Packers! Packers on Saturday! Hell yeah! Family night is just a scrimmage that they have. I got an 8 on my first roll. Okay, rub it in, DB. Rub it in. There we go. Research speed ups. Oh, where is uh bum bum bum? Images counter. Let's get the counter up there. We need to reset that though. Not zero. So there's one. Okay, how do we get to negative one? There's one. Two, three, four. There's another one. And two more. I'm not going to complain, but I would love to see an eight. There it is. There it is. There it is, another one. There's 10 from a chest, five gold heads, and another five. So let's add 15 onto there. Got 50. Got 50. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, I would say. I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Two seconds. I gotta grab that pack before I forget. It's only good for an hour. I was getting ones and one. I mean, crazy, crazy. If I hadn't gotten those two eights, though, all the ones would have meant absolutely nothing. History. Done deal. Mm, daily special offer. Not so lucky on the uh, farm account. Let's try the other farm account.
Even worse. <laughs> We're just going to unlock on these. I don't have gold heads to invest. Nor do I use these accounts for fighting. Uh, the second account. Maybe we'll take it to a different kingdom at some point in time. I don't think I even have uh, jumped on this one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not a farm. Not a farm. All right. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No. Hey, reset. CD and cage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know me well, DB. You know me well. I mean, what good do these what good do these gold stars do? Just sitting in my inventory, right? Absolutely nothing. Alright, so what do we got? We got skill tree, right? And we got cavalry. Skill, cavalry, versatility. Which commander has skill? And cavalry. Skill, oh, it's gonna be the same as him, right?
think I got that one from one of Seawell's videos. should be one and that should be two. Damn it. <laughs> yeah that's uh i yeah you remember i did guardians like twice a day three or four different sets every day so let's see what his uh let's see what his skills look like right let's see how sexy this guy is attack That's a decent animation. It's not swords falling out of the sky like Jones, but it looks nice. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. The horse guy on horseback. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, can't complain about that. What do you guys think? Nice looking animation, yes, no? Oh, see, I uh, upgraded that armament on Guan, and it took me up to 930,000. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. Flavius, why? Well, I mean, if, if that's all you got. Are you talking for Shadow Legion? That should do fine for Shadow Legion, Happy. You should be good with that for Shadow Legion. If uh, you want, port down by my city, and I can, can I can keep your city topped off with troops too. So we don't plan to push barbs today much at all. Yeah, I mean with the KVK tech, I can't see. I can't see anyone who's been working on KVK tech losing in Shadow Legion. Now my farms will probably get their asses kicked because, hell, I didn't even build the Crystal Mine or the Crystal Research Center, but it's 
why they're farms. Twenty four hour wood. Let me be the shadow of your peace tonight. Sixth place. Sixth place. What the hell, guys? They all hit themselves with their farms, and I'm too lazy to do that anymore. That took way too much fucking effort. So my farms, I have, uh, yeah, I use I use YSS and Sun Tzu on my farms for um, Shadow Legion defense. A couple of them have got YSS done, but a couple a couple of YSS is like a five two two three or some crazy number like that. You know what? We'll do that tomorrow. You guys don't want to see Sunset King. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we did our spins. Um, I do believe there are others out there still spinning. You just see customization. We got Black Panther. We got Only Farmer out there. Uh, I sent you guys to Black Panther the other day, so today we are going to send you over to Only Farmer when we finish up our stream here, which is going to be right about now. Uh, I've got a two-hour training class I have to train some folks on tomorrow, so I need to get a good night's sleep this evening. And lately, with the uh, heat, it has not been easy to sleep at night, so... We're going to call it a day. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for bringing me some luck today. 50 heads. Uh, 50 heads is not bad at all. We'll be back tomorrow to do day number two. See how we do then. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, if you haven't hit that like button yet, now is your last chance to do so today. Appreciate you all. And uh, we'll see you next time when you get to Only Farmer, of course. Hashtag Lambo Raid. Thanks. We'll see you next time.